Let's talk about brand deals and how we can secure repeat brand deals to make that income a little bit more consistent month after month and year after year. If you're new to my channel, take a second, hit that red subscribe button. Every Friday, I post new content on how to grow and monetize your social media so you can become more financially free. So in this video, first I wanna talk about a couple tips and strategies that I use to be able to lock in repeat brand deals and work with the same brands over and over and over. Then I'm gonna break down my free and easy sponsorship tracker, which is downloadable below in the description box and how I've used it to be able to actually secure these brand deals. So first things first, in order to secure brand deals, you wanna make sure that you are building a relationship with that contact and with the brand. That starts from the very first email, whether you're reaching out to them and securing a brand deal or they're reaching out to you and asking to work with you. You wanna make sure that you are very professional, you're kind, you're courteous from the beginning. If you're really rude or unprofessional, of course, they're not gonna to wanna to work with you again. So that is key. As silly as it sounds, you'd be surprised. Some people are not very professional through email. You are your own brand and you are representing yourself and your business. So you wanna make sure that you are handling it like that. So be really professional, really courteous, use sincerely or warmly at the bottom of an email, just simple email etiquette to make sure that you are starting to build that relationship with the brand. The next part, of course, is making sure that the entire transaction of you guys working together from creating the content, negotiating, posting the content, getting paid, is all smooth and as seamless as possible. If you're really easy to work with, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be wanting to work with you again because it was super simple from them and you didn't cause them a headache and vice versa. If a brand is really hard to work with, are you gonna wanna work with them again? Well, the same thing, of course, is in reverse. So you wanna make sure that you are asking the right questions. You wanna make sure that you are really, really detailed in what exactly they're wanting and what you're able to provide. If you need help with that, I do have a video that I will link in the description box that I did for the top questions that I always ask sponsorships to make sure that we're on the same page and to help avoid any miscommunication or issues later on in the collaboration process. So. If you guys are on the same page, it's gonna make it a lot easier. You wanna, of course, make sure that you are fair with your pricing, make sure that you are negotiating it so that way you guys both feel comfortable with where you're at. Now there's a lot that goes into, of course, negotiating with brands, what to price yourself, what you should be offering, how to increase the revenue per collaboration, the whole nine yards. That is exactly what I teach step-by-step -step to my social media journey students. If you need help with your social media, growing quickly, being able to monetize it in multiple ways, then linked below, you can book a free social media coaching session with me where I will audit one of your social media platforms, give you some tips and put together a game plan with you for exactly how you can start growing faster and monetizing it to bring in more revenue month after month. So that'll be below for you in the description box. Then when it comes time to doing what you said you were going to do, make sure you are on time. That's so, so important. Make sure that you are respecting their time and they're respecting your time. So post the content when you're supposed to. Make sure you're getting that approval before you post it. Just follow and do everything that you said you were going to do. Now, when you are posting your content, this is what I usually do. I send them an email and I let them know, hey, here is the content that I just posted, whether it's a YouTube video, a TikTok, an Instagram reel, a story, whatever. All of the content that I posted for them, I include in one email to make it really easy for them to be able to find all the content. Because they're gonna wanna track that content and check up on it, see what the views are, see what the likes are, the engagement level, all of that. So having it all in one email is gonna make it a lot easier for them and they're gonna really appreciate that. So I'll link, here's the YouTube video that I posted on this day at this time, link. Here is the TikTok video that I posted on this date at this time, link. The whole nine yards, very specific, very detailed and very organized. Then in that same email, I will also include the invoice. Now, when you're doing an invoice, I recommend heading over to Canva, completely free to use this app. Talk about this on my channel all the time. So go on Canva and you can search for templates for invoice. There's 100,000 uh, templates that you can use from that are completely free. I recommend doing it this way so that it looks really professional. Add your brand logo, put exactly very detailed what you're invoicing them for one YouTube integration, two Instagram stories, one TikTok video between 30 and 60 seconds. Be detailed, very, very important. 
YouTube integration. Is it a one to three minutes or is it a dedicated YouTube video? What is it? Then put the quantities, how much you're charging per, or if you're doing a package deal, I would just put the total price of the package. At the bottom, make sure you are putting who you are billing, so the company name. I also like to include my account number and my routing number so that way they can ACH the payment and I'm not getting a check in the mail. So those are a pain in the butt to track down and I don't wanna risk it getting lost or taking too long in the mail and then I'm not getting paid on time. ACH or wire transfers are obviously the easiest way. So you wanna make sure that you're including that information right on your invoice. So that way, again, one-stop shop, easy to locate. Then what I'm gonna do is go over to my sponsorship payment tracker. So we're gonna hop into that. Again, if you wanna download this completely free, below in the description box, you can get it downloaded where you can edit the document and use it. This is gonna help you so much to make sure that you stay organized help you get paid on time, make sure you remember when you get paid. The more brands you work with, you'll be surprised how quickly you can forget and not know what dates you're talking about when it comes to getting paid. And it's gonna help you keep all the contact information and notes and everything. I built this myself to make sure that it can handle everything that you're gonna need when it comes to sponsorships. So download that below in the description box. And if you're enjoying this video so far, before we hop into exactly how to use that tracker, take a second, smash that like button for me. Now let's get into this sponsorship payment tracker is what I call it, that's what I've labeled it. Every single column in here is super important. So you wanna make sure that you're putting the date that you are talking to the sponsorship contact, the brand, the name and the email of the person you are talking to. That way you have that contact information. How does this help you? Now you know exactly who to reach out to, who you've built that relationship with to ask for a collaboration again in the future. Just because you had a great experience and you let them know, hey, let me know whenever you have time or whenever you have another collaboration opportunity, doesn't mean they're actually gonna reach out to you. It is your responsibility that you wanna be in the driver's seat. So if you want more income and you wanna work with this brand again, you now have their contact information to be able to do so you know the date, you know exactly what you did with them, makes it a lot easier. So you wanna put, what was the price that you guys worked out and landed on? What exactly did you give them for that price? How many Instagram reels, TikTok videos, YouTube shorts, whatever. Write all of that down. Again, be very specific because you're not gonna remember in three months what you did for this brand. Then you wanna make sure that you're putting the date that each of the videos or whatever you guys worked out is posted and delivered. Then you wanna put, what is the payment terms? Are they on 30 day pay terms? Are they on due upon receipt of the invoice? Are they 90 day pay terms, which some brands are? Make sure you know that so you can put that in there. Then count, okay, what's 90 days from that date and put that in there. Now, when you go back in 30 days and you're like, oh yeah, when, when am I gonna get paid from that brand again? I don't remember. And you are gonna see exactly what date you're gonna get paid from that brand. Then what I do is whenever I do actually get paid, make sure that you're checking on that. The date you get paid, you wanna make sure you're putting that in there as well. Did you get paid early? Was it a good experience with the brand? Or did they pay late? Which honestly happens rarely. I think I've only been paid late one time and I've been doing this for five years. But you wanna make sure that of course you are on top of that and tracking that to help ensure that that doesn't happen. And then of course you wanna put in some notes. Some really important notes that I recommend putting in is what are the deliverables that they're looking for? What makes a sponsorship and a collaboration with you successful in the eyes of them? Is it 100 signups on their website? Is it 50 sales on the product that they're selling? Is it 25 downloads of the app? What makes the collaboration successful for them? I would put that in there. That way, when you're reaching out to them, it's more of a warm follow-up, right? You've already worked with them. You know exactly what they're looking for. You can use that terminology again in the email when you're reaching back out to that sponsorship. That is gonna set you so far ahead of 95% of the other influencers that they're working with. I guarantee you a lot of people don't do this. And this is gonna help set you apart. So that way they can now choose to work with you again, who you're very professional, you're organized, you remember what they actually want. That's gonna show that you're invested in the brand, you follow it up with them, or an influencer that emails them, hey Barb, what collaboration opportunities do you have for me this month? Do you see what I mean? You wanna set yourself apart and differentiate yourself in a more professional way. That's gonna help you land a lot more repeat sponsorships. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and what advice you have for fellow influencers 
when it comes to negotiating and talking to different brands to secure collaborations. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out my bet on yourself playlist, click this link here. These are all of the videos I've done to help you grow and monetize your social media. And again, if you're not subscribed yet, click my face icon right here. I will see you next Friday in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.